Unboxing day. some extra DX10 um, if I ask for some this is what you'd normally get in the pack right? that's uh, 100 meters of DX10 uh, congratulations on your purchase oh okay so what you get in this kit is the DX commander expedition pole as I've yet to take out the key, uh, the wrapping, um, the spacers, hose clamps, or Jubilee clips in the UK, some doingy doingy, some paracord, various sizes of uh, tubes and heat shrink. I think that's the glue line diversion. SO239 and uh, feeder, and of course the uh, the base and driven plate and a box full of uh, nuts and bolts and uh, hooks and clamps it's all fun i like this this is cool and of course the x10 okay time to uh, to build Twenty centimeters on top. Spot on. It's too long. Uh, just need 
needs a 20 centimeter fold back, apparently. I'll just quickly run up this because uh, it's a very long pole and uh, unlike the classics, quite flexible um, in comparison and a little bit difficult to uh, to film in one go. Um, I think it's probably the easiest way of, of showing it. Okay, I'm not quite square of it all. Um, Here we go. So, bottom element, Jubilee clip. Jubilee clip on the first um, pipe clamp, we would call it, on the first connection or the first um, extension. Then the, uh, the guide plate, um, and then a Jubilee clip or hose clamp, and then the rest are free. They have no, no more uh, so if you're concerned about it, you can put a bit of um, uh, tape around them. But I'm not going to for this experiment. I'm just going to now put the 40 on and uh, see how that goes. Okay. Right, whilst we have a few seconds. This is the, uh, it literally is 10 point, some odd metres long. Um, there's the 40 going up to the top and then coming back down and terminating with a bit of Aquarian tube. We've got the 20 and the 40 there. Um, so it's the 40 at the top terminating, isn't it? And then we've got the a 10, the 20 and 40. And I'm sorry about the quality of the picture. The sunlight is incredibly bright at the moment. Now what we're doing, we're going to put it onto my mast there, because the ground plane's already in the ground. Might even be showing off my uh, lockdown haircut. <laughs> Who knows? Okay. Okay, without any uh, trimming or cutting, this is just exactly as it comes off of the spec sheet. Um, so the SWR on seven is uh, 1.4 on the 20 meter band, 14 megahertz. It is pretty much flat across the entire band want to come out of that, go past these guys, go straight to the top of the bandish. As you can see, it's well below. Yankee, Quebec, 40 meter band. CQ, CQ, 40 meters. 
Mike Zero, Mike Sierra November. Again, please, Mike Zero. Mike Zero, Mike Sierra November, Town of Gloucester. Okay, can you say good evening, my friend? Mike Zero, Mike Sierra November. This is India, Uniform Zero, Yes, sir. Uh, the name here is Mike, Mike India Kilo Echo, uh, in the town of Gloucester, uh, United Kingdom, uh, and you are a lovely five and nine uh, this evening. Um, you. Yes, Roger on that. Understood. Um, there's a lot of QSB on the uh, frequency uh, and I'm using uh, only 70 watts. 70 watts uh, from a Kenwood TS890 and uh, using a DX Commander Expedition uh, Pole. Uh, OK, um, I'm going to say seven freeze. Thank you very, very much for talking to me this evening and I hope conditions uh, get better for next time. Uh, M0 MSN, Mike Zero, Mike Sierra November. Okay, Mike Zero, Mike Sierra November. Actually, at the moment, your signal was improved a little bit in the 5x8. It was very readable, but there's a strong choose to be, okay? Okay, thank you very much for asking my call. This wish is to you. Uh, L73, ciao, buon grazie. Yes, thank you very much. Seven freeze, good evening the getaway antennae um, this is an expedition piece of kit without a doubt it's all you need all that will go in a rucksack so easily it's fabulous